equals three studios. You know how much I love Star Wars? The new Star Wars episode VII. The Force Awakens. I'm actually really excited about this because it's the first shot we have at a good Star Wars since 1983. We don't know if the movie's gonna be any good, but based on the trailer, oh my, my god. god, it looks to be really good. I actually haven't seen Star Wars. <laughs> To infinity and beyond! Ah. Kudos to J.J. Abrams. He did Star Trek and now he's doing Star Wars. He's like hoarding franchises like my grandpa hoarded National Geographic magazines. And cats, that was bad. I don't think J.J. Abrams is gonna stop here. Like, I think he's gonna direct the new Lost in Space. He's gonna direct the new Battlefield Earth. He's gonna direct the new Care Bears movie, cause fuck it. And he built as many practical sets as he could. Clearly bringing it back old school, because he keeps it practical. I'm really glad they got rid of that one character who's ruining all the movies. What was his name? Uh, George Lucas. How is George Lucas feeling right now? The fact that he creates this thing, has this whole amazing thing, and now that he's no longer involved, the world is like, let's celebrate. Thank everyone, thank Lucas is out. We all see what the hell he does when he's in charge, because the last three we got were this is one of the only franchises where the fanboys actually hate half the movie. Hey, on a scale of one to prequels, how shitty was your day? It doesn't even matter. The guy sold it for billions of dollars. He's a winner! Yes, the man has just made four billion dollars. But yet he still had the audacity to turn in a script after he sold it. You just imagine the Disney people like, oh, thank you. How many bad ideas were probably in that script? Can you imagine? More government council meeting scenes. Let's just kill everybody. Wait, that's Game of Thrones. I guess you can manufacture midichlorians in a lab. So you just drink the magic potion and everybody becomes a Jedi? That is genius. We'll be in touch, George. Here, let me validate your parking. Hey man, you know, you're, you're probably busy doing ranch stuff. You know what, could use a touch-up, a digital touch-up, American Graffiti. I really don't care who is part of it as long as it's not Michael Bay. I gotta be honest, man, I'm a big fan. I'm really curious to see how the old characters stack up. In true Hollywood form, two of the actors look exactly the same, R2-D2 and C-3PO. They've had work done. A little nip and tuck here and there. Can't fool us. I don't know how old Chewbacca is, but he looks great for his age. I mean, does he look good or did he just buy a lot of Just for Wookie? You don't know what that is because you don't have a beard. He's got Luke. Yeah, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Get it? Because he's old. We got Leia. And speaking of old ass, Carrie Fisher. I'd love to still see her in the buns. I mean, after all these years, are those buns going to stay up? Has age affected the buns? And Harrison Ford, old ass. You was in Star Wars back. When Jesus was in Star Wars, how you just make it to the new Star Wars 30 years later when you 375 years old? And there's the lady from Game of Thrones. Brianna Tarth, right? Whoa, the chrome trooper is a girl? That's like in Metroid when you win the game. Spoiler alert, and she takes off her helmet. It's a woman. You've been playing a woman this whole time, stupid. And there's the black stormtrooper. Whoa, the guy in the white armor is black. And he's one of the stars. But it's a little weird that he's a stormtrooper, so he in white. Body and white face. The only people that should be upset about that are the Asians. Follow me on this one. Django Fett, he was Maori, which is basically Asian, and really a bad satire that all the clones look exactly alike. Is that racist? And Star Wars doubled down on the ethnic stuff, right? First they had uh, the droid Arturito, and then this one? Oh man, it's literally just a soccer ball. Go! I just really hope that they can fit Chris Pratt into this movie somehow. He's not in it. I won't be going. Oh, but that ending though, right? The part where Solo says, Chewie, we're home. Chewie, we're, we're home. home. People lost their mind. Why did Indiana Jones just tell a slightly less hairy Kim Kardashian that they're home? Ah. Classic Chewie, he's like <laughs> Of course he would say that. I kind of teared up. My lip went into full quiver because I'm an adult, we don't cry, I'm a man. Any series that can get grown ass men to cry, I'm taking my boyfriend too. They're gonna be so emotionally vulnerable, okay? The trailer has done broke my mind. I'm excited, I'm pumped. It's pretty fucking great. I can't wait, and I'm loving it. Disney, JJ, please don't mess this up. This is a lot of emotions are running high right now. You know what my wish is, is that I look back at this video and I'm like, oh my God, it's so funny, let's laugh. Because remember when I, we were all worried that Star Wars was gonna be bad? <laughs> Oh man. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are you guys are pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you to the comedians for stopping by. I'm gonna get out of here. We, next week we got another show. 
because that's how it works. I'll see you later. Comment below. Talk to me. Talk about feelings and Star Wars. Talk about the one time you almost got laid. Okay, I'm Carlos y estamos gozando. have sex with a Star Wars fan. Why wouldn't you have sex with a Star Wars nerd? I would. I'll have sex with anything that agrees. They're always going to be the one to shoot first. <laughs> I haven't seen Desert Storm either, but I imagine this is what it's like. Is it a game? Is it a book? It's a war. It's know, a war. It's an actual war that happened <laughs> in, in the uh, 2004. Um, oh no. <laughs> you guys are gonna use that, year. aren't you? Thank you for watching this Equal 3 Studios production. To watch another episode, click here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And now, I sleep.